गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू दी ऑनलाइन लेक्चर्स ऑफ क्लास फोर मैथ्स टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू फिनिश अवर चैप्टर नंबर टू लॉन्ग एंड शॉर्ट बट बिफोर दैट वन क्वेरी वॉज आस्क इन दी मीटिंग दैट विच बुक इज वी हैव टू यूज सो लेट मी फर्स्ट शो यू दैट बुक सो दिस इज दी कवर पेज प्लीज पेरेंट्स नोट इट और जस्ट टेक अ स्क्रीन शॉट दैट दिस इज द cover page of our maths book and otherwise what you can do whenever you are buying or whenever you are going to buy the book just see these all chapters are there in the index or note okay so this is the book which we are using book for textbook in mathematics for class 4 maths magic and this is the index okay so now without wasting any time let's get started so chapter number 2 long and short so before going into the topics let's see some important theories or important things as you know that 1 km just a second 1 km equals to 1000 meters you have to remember this One kilometer equals two thousand meters. Okay, so if now question is asked as two kilometers equals to how many meters? Okay, two kilometers equals to how many meter? So what you have to do if you have to convert the number from kilometer to meter, then you have to multiply that number. Multiply that number two into thousand. Okay, so two into thousand is two thousand meter. Okay, so two kilometer equals to two thousand meter. So just remember this: if you have to convert kilometer into meter, then you have to multiply thousand by Uh, you have to multiply kilometers into thousand, so you will get that answer in meters. Now, if the number is given in meters, and you have to answer that in kilometer, you have to convert the meter number in kilometer. So, what you have to do? Divide that number. Divide. That number by thousand, okay? Three thousand. If uh, you are asked to convert three thousand in kilometers, then three thousand by thousand equals to. When you will divide, you get answer three. So three thousand meters equal to seven uh, three kilometers. I hope you have understand it. Let's revise it once again. One kilometer equals to thousand meters. Remember this: if the number is given in kilometer unit and you are asked to convert that into meter, then you have to multiply two into thousand equal to. Okay, you have to multiply that kilometer by thousand, and you will get that answer in meter. If the number is given in meters and you are asked to Convert that number in kilometer. You just have to divide it by thousand. For example, three thousand meters is given, and ask how many kilometer it is. Then you have to divide three thousand divide by thousand, which is equal to three kilometer. Now let's begin the topic. Inter school sports meet. There is an arrangement in the. School of Inter School Sports Meet, and which sport is going to be conducted? Race. Okay, race is going to be conducted in the sports meet. Now, this is a hundred meter race for girls. Arundhati is nearest the finish line. She is about six meter from it. Okay. so there is one inter uh, inter school sports meet race is going to be conducted this is a 100 meter race for girls arundhati is nearest to the finishing line 
she is about 6 meter from it behind his behind her is rehana konaka and uma are running behind okay see arundhati uh, rehana is behind arundhati okay arundhati is first behind her rehana behind uh, rehana uh, konaka and uma are there okay the distance between the arundhati and the finishing line is 6 meter hmm now let's see what our question is okay so this is the pictorial view this is arundhati she is 6 meters away from the finishing line this is rehana she is behind arundhati and konkana and uma they are also behind rehana to answer the question below choose from this this uh, distances these are the four option which are given 3 meter 6 meter 10 meters and 15 meters from this option we have to select our answer so first question is how far yeah how far is rehna from arundhati okay so let's see the picture question is how far rehna is from arundhati so here let's see see the distance between arundhati and the finishing line is 6 meter okay if you will carefully observe the distance between the rehna and arundhati is obviously less than 6 meter okay if you see in your textbook you can observe that the distance between the arundhati and the finishing line is 6 meter and if you see the distance between rehna and arundhati that will be less than 6 meter obviously okay so these are our option 3 meter 6 meter and 10 meter from this option only one option is there which is less than 6 meter so our answer is 3 meters okay a answer is 3 meters next question how far ahead is rehna from konkana and uma okay see the question is how far rehna is from konkana and uma okay so see students the distance between the rehna and uh, konkana and uma is almost almost similar to 6 meter okay but if you will observe it is not more than uh, 10 or 15 okay and not less than 6 meter so from the option only one option is that 6 meter because the distance is not less than 6 meter and approximately the distance cannot be more than 10 meters or 15 meters so the answer is 6 meters next how far are konkana and uma from the finishing line okay the question is we have to find the distance between the konkana uma and the finishing line so we knew that this is 6 meter this is 3 meter this is 6 meter okay so if we sum up 6 3 and 6 okay we have to sum it up then the answer will be 6 plus 3 equals to 9 and 9 plus 6 equals to 15 okay so answer is 15 meters what we have did we have summed up the all the distance 6 meter arundhati and the finishing line plus 3 meter the distance between rehna and arundhati and the distance between the rehna and konkana and uma that is 6 meter so if we just sum it up the answer will be 
15 i am writing here 15 meters okay now have you heard about a 1500 meter or 3000 meter race in television or in a cartoon you have heard 1500 meter or 3000 meter race are there okay so now what is written here you remember that 1000 meters make 1 kilometers i have shown you in this slide 1 kilometer equals to 1000 meters okay here what is written 1000 meters make 1 kilometer and 500 meters make half a kilometer okay this is obvious see uh, what is written 500 meters this is half of 1000 500 is th half of 1000 if you divide 1000 by 2 you will get 500 meters so if we uh, divide 2 here we get 500 so we have to divide 1 by 2 also which is half 1 by 2 is half so half kilometer equals to 500 meter okay so i hope you have understood 1000 meters equal to 1 kilometer and 500 meters equal to half a kilometer now see what is asked in a 1500 meter race people run dash kilometer don't uh, see this answer or just ignore for a while in a 1500 meters race people run dash kilometer so see 1500 1500 meters okay so see thousand plus 500 equals to 1500 okay so see the answer is given in meters and you want answer in kilometers so one method is this uh, as i have discussed earlier you have to divide 1500 divide by 1000 okay so you will get 1.5 5 kilometers okay this is the one method 1.5 kilometer is also called as one and half kilometer okay the another one is the 1500 okay how we can get it get that 1000 plus 500 equals to 1500 meters right okay so see 1000 can be 1000 meter equals to 1 kilometer we know that okay 500 is half kilometer so our answer will be one and half kilometers okay now next is in a 3000 meter race people run dash kilometers we have uh, seen earlier you have to just divide 3000 divide by 1000 and you will get 3 uh, kilometer this was very simple question okay so moving further have you heard about marathon race in which people have to run about 40 kilometers okay in marathon race generally People have to run about 40 kilometers. People run marathon on the roads because the uh, track of stadium is of 1400 meters. Okay. So now what is the question? 10 rounds of stadium track equals to dash kilometers. So what we have to do? Uh, we have asked the total kilometers. Okay. Of uh, if we run 10 rounds one round is of 400 meters so for answer of 10 rounds we have to multiply 400 so 400 
into 10 you will get 4000 okay 400 into 10 you will get 4000 meters but note that the answer is in the answer we want is in kilometer okay so if we have to convert the thousand meter into a kilometer so for that thousand divide by uh, four thousand divide by thousand we will get four kilometers okay so answer will be four kilometers now the next question so if you run a marathon on a stadium track you have to complete dash rounds okay so what is asked if you run a marathon on a stadium track you will have to complete dash rounds okay if you have to run the marathon on stadium track how many rounds you have to run let's find the answer so the marathon is of 40 kilometers right we have seen in the previous slide see marathon is of 40 kilometers so firstly we will convert this kilometer into meter so uh, what we are doing to convert kilometer into meter yes multiplying it by thousand okay so here i have multiplied it 40 into thousand okay you will get 40 thousands okay okay so now what you have to do see 40,000 divided by 400 see, see this is 40,000 meter and total marathon track and you have to divide it by 400 which is the total length of a sta uh, stadium track so if we will divide this total uh, marathon track and total stadium track you will get number of rounds which is 100 if you will divide 40,000 divided by 400 you will get 100 rounds okay I hope you have understand it moving further long jump long jump Danu has the longest jump of 3 meter 40 centimeter 3 meter 40 centimeters his jump is okay Gurjit is second his jump is 20 centimeter less okay Gurjit is second his jump is 20 centimeter less then the Dhanus. Okay. Gopi comes third. His jump is only 5 cm less than Gurjit. Okay. 5 cm less. So let's solve some question regarding this scenario. How long are Gurjit's jump? Gurjit's and Gopi's jump see we have to find Gurjit jumps okay see Dhanu has the longest jumps of uh, 3 meter 40 centimeter Gurjit is second his jump is 20 centimeter less so if we subtract the Dhanu's jumps by 20 centimeter we will get Gurjit jump okay so here that is written Gurjit jump equals to Dhanu's jump minus 20 centimeter okay so now Gurjit jump is 3 meter 40 centimeter you have to subtract it by 20 centimeter okay now see 3 meter and 40 centimeter what you have to subtract 20 so write down the 20 centimeter under the 40 centimeter okay if meter is given then you have to write down under the meter but here centimeter and we have to subtract it so write it down from 40 so okay so centimeter 
जीरो माइनस जीरो जीरो फोर माइनस टू ट्वेंटी ओके मीटर एंड थ्री नथिंग इज देयर सो वी विल नॉट सब ट्रैक एनी थिंग सो योर आंसर विल बी थ्री मीटर ट्वेंटी सेंटीमीटर ओके नाउ ट्राई जस्ट अ सेकेंड Try and see how far you can jump. This is the activity which you have to do at your home. Okay, you don't have to answer or you don't have to write any answer. These these questions you don't have to write any question answer in the notebook. This is only a practical question answer. Okay, how far can you throw a ball? Okay, take a ball, take a tennis ball which you are uh, taking for playing cricket. Then stand at one position, throw the ball. Okay, and see how many meters, how many meters you can throw a ball. Okay, now look for a big ball. This was our tennis ball, small tennis ball. Look for a big ball like basketball or volleyball. And similarly. Stand at one position, throw ball, okay, and just calculate with the measure tape or with the help of your parents. You can estimate the distance between you and your ball. This is the only question for your activity. You don't need to answer or you don't need to write this answer in the notebook, okay. Now, here is. one more question which we are going to discuss here are the indian records and world records for jump for some jumps okay see sports high jump okay high jump man world record is of 2 meter 45 cm which was achieved by javier s okay high jump record world record is achieved by javier Yes, which is of two meter forty five centimeter, and the Indian record is Chandrapal achieved by Chin uh, Chandrapal, which is of two meter seventeen centimeter. Similarly, for long long jump man, Mike P achieved world record of eight meter ninety five centimeter. Indian record is of uh, by Amrit Pal. Eight meter, eight centimeter, and similarly for high jump woman and long jump. You can pause the video and observe this data. Now moving to the questions. How many centimeters more should Chandrapal jump to equal the men's world record for high jump? Okay, see, Chandrapal. Record is our Indian record. He wants to achieve the world record. How many centimeters or how many meters he have to increase in a long jump, in a high jump, to achieve the world record? So what we will do? Minus the Chandrapal's record. Sorry, minus the Javier's record from Chandrapal record. Okay, high jump man record is of two meter forty five centimeter. Okay. And high jump Indian record is two meter seventeen centimeter. Chandrapal uh, wants to achieve this this record. So, how much uh, meter or centimeter he has to increase in his or her uh, in his high jump? So, what we will do? Men's world record equals to two meter forty five centimeter, right? Now. Subtract it from Indian men's record two meter seventeen centimeter. Okay, so what you will do? Two meter forty five centimeter and two meter seventeen centimeter. You have to subtract it. Okay, and what you will get? You will get twenty eight centimeter. I know you can uh, subtract forty five from seventy, so I am not explaining that. Two minus two will be zero, so two meter, uh, zero meter, and twenty eight centimeters. Due to time limit, I am unable 
to complete this chapter because two to three topics are remaining and it will take some more time we will complete we will try to complete this chapter in the next lecture but now i am sharing one pdf file which consists of some question which are related to the topic which we have discussed so i request all these students to write this question answer in your notebook hope to see you in next lecture thank you